So if we want to play around a little bit more, sometimes you get uh, interesting effects if you play two solos over each other. So I'm going to try that now, and I'm going to play another uh, simple bass line. Let's choose another key, just to uh, just for a change. Let's choose D minor. This is the D Dorian scale. And I'm going to play a bass line like this. A little bit slower. It's it's a turnaround in D minor. One, two, one, two, three, four. So if I improvise a little bit in D minor, we get something like this. So now I'm going to record the solo. So now I'm going to play another solo over it. Well, I'm not sure if this sounded very good, but it does give you some surprising results now and then. The nice thing about doing this is that uh, you're thinking of something to play, and at the same time you're hearing something else being played. So it sort of uh, gives you different ideas. Of course, I can use the same loop now with a bit of solo on it to practice the comping. So I'm just going to play now the backing chords with the solo. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So to finish, I'm going to show you how to play a complete tune with the loop pedal. So I'm going to play one chorus of this tune uh, in chords, and then I'll play over it. Now, one of the tricky things always with this is that you have to start and stop the loop pedal at the right time. So I try to count before I start, and then when I reach the last bar, I count again so that I, ca so that I can stop the pedal recording uh, on the beat of one and in that way the, the loop will be nicely uh, continuous and you can keep playing over it sometimes it fails but then you just start again I'm going to play uh, Solar because it's nice and short so it's good to use it for loop practicing one two one two three four <laughs>
record the melody. Okay, now I have to stop it because otherwise it will keep recording. So um, now I'm starting it again. And then I'm going to improvise through the melody. thing that that you can try to do if you're recording is try to finish the song which is another challenge because you have to stop the pedal at the right time and then for instance you can play uh, a final chord just at the right time just to close the song just to finish the song so I'm going to try that now just to play the final chord I just played the final chord and at the same time I pressed the pedal and the song is finished. You have to get used to playing with this a little bit, but uh, if you get used to it, it's really a lot of fun to play like this and to practice. You can practice scales, you can practice licks, you can practice chord progressions, uh, complete tunes, whatever you want. So I hope you'll try it and uh, have fun with it. Just one more tip, when you start doing this, you may find it difficult to especially stop the pedal at the right time because you're playing, you're not thinking about it and by the time you have to stop the pedal it's already too late. Um, or you start thinking about it too soon and then you get distracted from playing so you stop the pedal on time but your playing is not okay. So what I've learned is that it works best if you try to not think about it for as long as you can. So you start the pedal, you start playing uh, and don't think about it, don't start counting too soon because it will really distract you from playing. But be confident that if you think about it in the last, if you think about it in the last measure of what you're playing, the last bar, you will be on time to stop it. So don't think about it until you're in the really last bar on the last chord and then count one, two, three, four and then stop it. If you do that a couple of times, maybe 10 or 20 times, you're going to get used to it. And that's the trick to do it. So I hope you'll have as much fun as I've had. Good luck. <laughs>